What's up everyone? I'm Tiffany and welcome to Overlanding World. In this video, we're gonna solve a problem. Well, at least a problem for me. You know when you're on the trails for a few hours and your stomach starts rumbling and you're so, so hungry? All your stuff's in the back of the truck and now you gotta get the table out? That's a lot of work. So in this video, our solution to that problem is changing this part of our back door into a functional table. Let's go. So taking off the rear panel isn't too difficult. The speaker is held in by six screws. Um, the handle bolts in from underneath and then you could just uh, take off the entire panel. It comes off in one piece. Um, just be careful with it because we are gonna use it as a template to cut out the metal. that's gonna go and replace this piece. Um, this is just a scrap piece of aluminum. We just got this from a scrap yard. I think we paid around like 30 bucks for it, so not too bad. Um, it does have some little holes, but we're just gonna be avoiding that. Um, we're just gonna take a Sharpie, uh, outline it, and then start cutting. many hours later so cutting that took like way longer than it should have we tried about four different power tools what were they uh we're using the jigsaw uh the grinder dremel uh, and then this this thing from harbor freight that i had laying around this actually worked the best out of all those for a while until they burned out yeah this thing burned and, out yeah and then well, and then we moved back to the jigsaw and i put a different blade on it and then that one just started cutting like butter, so I don't know. So after like the second blade on the jigsaw, we finally have our piece. Yeah, and... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this is what it looks like. Obviously just the same shape as the piece that we took out. So the next step is to... Now we just need to like sand out the edges with like a, the flap disc. It's like a sandpaper type of disc. And then so we can like fit it and then we're gonna drill it out and screw it to the back. So, so yeah, let's start grinding the piece. All right guys, so the way we're gonna bolt the plate onto the door is with like, they call them rivet nuts. So I mean like, we're gonna squeak, make holes in the door, in the door. Uh, squeeze these through and then make holes on the plate uh, so we can put the screw through and then make them together. So for right now let's make one hole on this plate so we can match it up with the door and then we'll drill out the rest when this is bolted to the door. Okay so we're going to be using this tool. We have the rib knot on the end of here. We're just going to push it through the hole that we just drilled and then um, we're going to have to make several more but then we'll be able to screw in the actual metal part. Alright guys, so it is the next day. We're still working on the shelf. Um, it actually took a lot longer than expected. In the last clip I think we showed you we used like four different tools, but we finally cut it with a jigsaw and we have it bolted on. We used the rivet nuts in the back. Um, just make sure to drill these a little bit uh, bigger depending on the size of the bolt that you're going to use. Um, so we have it in here. It is fitting perfectly in here inside the where the other plastic was um and the next thing after this is going to be uh, cutting out the wood piece in the exact shape as well 
we have some hinges that are going to go on the bottom here and also some cables that are going to be um, supporting the wood uh, shelf but for now that's what we have um, I would say set aside like a, like it, it could be done in a day like if you start for the full day but this took actually longer than expected but if we were to do it again I think we would be more prepared uh, knowing which type of blade and everything to use but um, so now we're ready to move on to the next steps let's go all right so we're just using the same plastic piece that we took out of the back on the door um, just to uh, measure out or, or trace out the wood um, then this is actually just going to be the shelf and we have the hinges and all that that's going to make it uh, fold up and down um, but yeah so just trace this out and next thing is to cut it Alright guys, so we have the jigsaw here, we put the wood blade on and we stenciled out the mark on how we're going to cut. So let's get cutting and hope this one comes out better than the aluminum one and doesn't take two days. So David just cut this out, um, came out like five minutes, much better than the metal. But so just to give you guys a visual of how it's gonna be. It's gonna be like this, huh? Nice, right? And then when we put everything together, it's gonna fold up, down, and you got yourself a table. Ooh. All right guys, so we have these uh, hinges that we're gonna use to mount the, the wood to this, the metal part. We're gonna use like self-screwing screws, whatever, and we're gonna screw this into the aluminum for now, and then make holes in the wood and then put the bolts through. So right now let's mark up the aluminum and get it going. I recommend using like a center punch. This is like a 98 cent one from Harbor Fate to mark up where you're gonna start to like screw your screw so that like when you start like pushing it in, it doesn't start to like walk and then go into a different place. So let's get this guy in. guys so we're running into like a little bit of a problem that we didn't think through so these other bolts that we had gotten to screw into the wood uh, when we put it in the hinge hinge <laughs> and we move it up this doesn't want to close <laughs> so we hadn't thought of that so now we're just gonna make new holes over here so that when you this is closed this still like fits inside the little groove and it's perfect so yeah so let's go make new holes and then fix our problem that we didn't anticipate. Alright guys, so we bolted the hinges on. Um, so we figured it out, because um, you know how it was touching before, so we just drilled some extra holes in the hinge. So when you close it up, it lines up pretty nice. And then on the opposite side of the way, we just have a washer and then a nut to hold it through. Um, we haven't tightened everything yet, because we are gonna paint this, but for now, I just wanna show you guys that it does fit and it does look pretty decent. <laughs> Um, so in the previous clip we showed we were going to use this latch system to hook here and this thing swings around However, after cons uh, figuring out and considering that we would have to like make a, some sort of wedge to like even out where the wood sits against this We thought about how we can just put one bolt here one bolt on the back, back side of the wood and then hold it here in this type of system um, this just seems a little bit easier because then bolt is going to be holding it here and then we could just uh, undo this one from the bolt on this opposite side and then the table will be able to fall down so as reference it's going to look like this bolt here you take it off and then you're able to pull the table down so we still have to put the cables connecting this to hold it at the right height but overall we're we're getting there so <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next step but for now we're doing pretty good Alright, so like the next step that I said is using the cables. Um, this long one is going to go on this side, and then the shorter one is going to go on that side over here. Um, we just marked um, with a sharpie on the wood exactly where we're going to drill. Um, we put them here, and then we'll be able to adjust, you know, the height to make sure it's level. And then we're going to be bolting it straight to the door. So that's the next step, and let's go. in 
the cables um, when we were bolting it in we're mindful of putting it a little bit less than 90 degrees just because when let's say you put this on here now it is 90 degrees so just be mindful that it is gonna like be pushed down by whatever you have on the table so then the table's flat and there's not anything that's gonna be falling off so right now it looks pretty good um, I don't really know what the next step is but we'll figure it out <laughs> All right, guys, so right now we're going to use these O-rings instead of the other window things that we had planned to make sure, like, when we close up the table, we can hook it up like this. So we're going to use one uh, self-driving screw here and then another one there, and then we're going to bring it down whenever we want to close it and then bring it up whenever we want to open it. And for for the basically most of the screws that we use, we use the self-driving ones. Uh, we got them from Ace, so when if you, any of you guys are building it, make sure you get the self-driving ones or like the metal ones. I don't don't know the exact name for them. Uh, use those so you can like screw into the sheet metal pretty easily. So yeah, so let's get these in so that we can get the closing system done, and then we can move on to the other few things and then get this painted. guys so our like mind picture whatever you want to call it our imagination there you go has come to life because we got this little situation going here so when you want to take it off just gotta take it off like this and then that's it when you put it away and then close the door and go to the next destination. Alright, so pretty much we're wrapping up here. We added some, uh, look how fancy this is. Not necessary, but you know, just for easy access. And then fire extinguishers so we don't burn the pores down. That's important. What else? And we got the little, uh, what's it called? the O-rings going. So we can just pop that out, pop this out, and then the tree will come in now. And then we'll paint this in a little bit, paint this guy black, or maybe some other color. I don't know, whatever we decide. Yep. And yeah. And put it back in. There you go. So yeah. And wait, should we close it off there? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, we might come back with another clip of like it painted or just post a picture here at the end. But if we don't, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you learned a little bit. And if you're going to do this, don't make the same mistakes that we did. Uh, right by the right ball, actually, no. Use WD-40 while cutting aluminum. There you go. Yeah, use some sort of like lubricant to like get your blade going because it took us like how many hours? Like three hours. Three to four hours. That was the worst part of this whole thing. But yeah. today everything went pretty smooth. We have a table. Um, so yeah, thanks so we much. We had the fire extinguisher. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah, sorry, I mentioned it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so no, we don't burn no. the thing. But um, yeah, close it out, hon. Yeah, there you go. And if you guys have any questions of like certain parts or whatever, just. Like or like know. bolts or like yeah. sizes just or leave, anything. Just leave them in the comments yeah. or just DM us on like Instagram at like overlanding, what was it, underscore world? Overlanding <laughs> yeah, underscore world. Shouldn't you like know that? Yeah, okay. you should. Alright, thank you guys. Bye.